Some people born with inborn errors of metabolism require specialized medical formulas and foods. This diet for life treatment is very expensive and difficult to access. Three people with inborn errors of metabolism share their stories. I was uh, diagnosed with uh, PKU through uh, newborn screening um, in the state of Michigan. Because it's diagnosed at birth, I've, you know, always had it. It's not like I grew up, you know, as a child without it and then, and then had it. I, I always grew up with it. I was taken off the diet when I was five years old that is used to treat it. And I knew nothing about it until I became pregnant with my daughter. I've been taking formula my entire life. Um, since diagnosis as an infant and all the way till now. You have to drink it throughout the whole day, so that can make some problems when you're at school or at work. I actually took a diary and wrote down each day how I felt for three days on the diet and then three days off. And I realized I was a completely different person when I was on it compared to when I was off of it. My, well, my wife always tells me, she knows what I haven't taken formula either. Um, she can, uh, I guess I get uh, very temperamental or um, irritable and uh, short-tempered. If I'm off, the levels are high, my hands will shake and tremor. Um, I will get eczema on my shoulders and cystic acne on my face. Also, when I'm off diet for um, even, even just a few hours or if I miss one dose of my formula, um, I notice that I, I can't really last a full day at work or school. I notice that I do uh, feel a little bit depressed um, and know that that, can, that gets worse the longer I go. So. Everything in my life is 10 times harder than what it is for a normal person when I'm off the diet and my levels are high. Like I wake up and feel like I didn't sleep, like I just need to sleep all day long. I feel like there's weights attached to my arms and my legs. Everything that I do is harder and thinking clearly and controlling my emotions is harder. It's just not, it's not easy to do anything, basically. I'm supposed to be super careful anyways, but I have to be even more careful while I'm pregnant um, to make sure that the baby doesn't have any um, neurological disorders or birth defects or heart deformities or anything like that. There's times when I have to cut corners to try to get by. I mean, I can't have the ideal diet that I need to feel my best because we don't always have the money for it. You can just buy it off the manufacturer, but I, I don't have, uh, I think we worked out it would be $2,000 a month for the amount of formula I need. I've, I've heard stories of like, you know, uh, people basically having to not take it or take it less than prescribed just because they couldn't afford to get it or uh, they're stuck in that, you know, rock and a hard place of like, they they can afford insurance, but not good enough insurance to cover it, so they're kind of stuck. So uh, formula and being on diet um, is extremely important to me. It's really the only reason I've been able to get to where I am now and um, pursue my dream of uh, being in medicine. It's, it's really just something that carries me through every day and, and allows me to uh, keep striving towards my goals in my career. I would say it's my entire life.